Yo, what is going on everyone in Crypto Space? Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for tuning in to the channel today. Really do appreciate it. Now, just like yesterday, where we had the breaking news of Corey Johnson confirming that Wall Street was purchasing XRP, and um, from Q2 to Q3, Ripple had a 400% growth in direct institutional sales from Ripple, the company. So Wall Street uh, confirmed to be stepping in and buying XRP. Now, again, today... I got some more information for you guys regarding production contracts and Ripple's expansion into new markets. Um, essentially, just got some more good information for you guys. So, Dil Brow, who is the global head of innovation infrastructure, I'm pretty sure I'm trying to remember the Ripple employee positions because I always forget them. Um, but anyways, yeah, Dil Brow, he was at a conference in um, in Dubai, and he actually did it made a 20, 20 minute presentation. And in the first two minutes, he gives a couple uh, bits of juicy information for us XRP investors. So three pieces of information. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna state the piece of information and I'm going and show you guys the actual video clips. And again, credit to Bank XRP uh, for posting on YouTube. So make sure you go check him out on YouTube and Twitter. Um, so the three pieces of information you guys need to know before we watch the video clips is one, Ripple the company, they are now close to 200 production contracts. You know, about a month and a half ago, uh, we got big news of Chris Lars making a presentation saying that he had, that Ripple had over 100 production contracts, and a month and a half later, Ripple's now saying that they have close to 200 production contracts, and not only is the growth significant, but the fact that if they're close to 200 production contracts, and we only have about 160 to 170-ish publicly known Ripple partners, then that means we got about 20 or 30 Ripple partners that are actually already signing a production contract that we don't know about yet. So again, not only the growth, but some unnamed partners that could be big that we don't know about. Uh, second thing, on on the slide, as you're going to see, you know, when they ha have like the 100, 100 plus production contract slide, um, it shows some Ripple partners that we did not know uh, actually do have a production contract. So uh, when you watch the video, make sure to pay attention to the slide. You'll see that you'll recognize all these Ripple partners. Uh, and we already know that they're Ripple partners. That's already public information. But we did not know that they were actually that they actually signed a production contract with Ripple. So it's great to see that. And then the final piece of information that came from this uh, presentation that I think you guys are going to be stoked about is that Ripple, by the end of the year, will be opening up an office in Dubai. Because Ripple's making some serious traction into the Middle East, guys. There's a lot of money that comes in and out of the Middle East. They are the movers of oil. They got tons of it. They supply pretty much the world's oil, mainly the U.S. So there's a lot of money coming from the Middle East to the U.S. And Ripple is getting a lot of good traction in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East. Very strategic and a very great move by Ripple. And he actually does say in the video clip you're about to see that it's one of like the one of the most fastest growing markets that they're trying to get into right now, and that they're making like a a bit a big uh big movement into it so let's go ahead um we're gonna go ahead and watch the next two minutes of the video clip uh and that's where all the juicy information is you know like the rest of the presentation uh it's pretty much just like pitching the idea of ripple and xrp why it works why it's great you know all the stuff that me and you talk about every single day uh but mainly the first two minutes here we're gonna go ahead and watch it uh so make sure to stay tuned for the three pieces of information watch out for uh so you can see the, the real statements for yourself because one thing you know youtubers saying it but then if you actually see it from uh the global head of in infrastructure innovation himself dilip rao say it you know it seems a little more credible so the three pieces of info to uh, stay tuned for in the video is uh, they are close to 200 production contracts uh, the partners that actually have signed production contracts that we did not know about and that they are going to be opening up an office in Dubai by the end of the year. So let's go ahead and give this video clip a watch. What I thought I'd do was start with a, a brief introduction uh, to the company. Uh, I work for a company called Ripple, which is probably one of the pioneers in the space of distributed ledger technology. Uh, we have close to 300 employees now based in San Francisco uh, and around the world. And we are following our customers into new markets. And I'm pleased to say that we'll be setting up uh, an office here in Dubai before the end of the year. The focus for Ripple is to create what we call the internet of value, which is how do we make it as easy, as fast, as cheap to move value around the world as we can move information today. 
When I send you an email, I don't ask you whether your ISP speaks to my ISP. But if I am on PayPal and you are on Alipay or with a bank, I cannot do the same thing. So our focus initially is, to, is on cross-border payments because we think that's where there is the most friction. And in this part of the world, as in ASEAN, as in Latin America, there is a huge requirement for cross-border transactions that will support the economy, both within the region, but also in terms of business that you conduct with the rest of the world. We have, to date, signed up close to 200 institutions around the world, many of them from this part of the world. So for the last three, three and a half years, I ran the APAC MENA business for Ripple until the end of last year. And we now have three banks in Saudi Arabia, two in Kuwait, uh, one in Bahrain, one in Oman, a uh, couple in the UAE here. And it really is our fastest growing marketplace. This includes Al Raji Bank, which is the largest Islamic bank in Saudi Arabia. And I think the chairman of the Kuwait Finance House mentioned today that they're also a client of Ripple. So you guys heard from the man himself right there, uh, 200 production contracts. They are going to be expanding and opening up an office in Dubai uh, by the end of this year. And you can see some of the partners there uh, that we did know that there are partners, but we did not know that there was a production contract actually signed with some of those partners that are actually in the Middle East, Korea, and actually from Sweden. So uh, all good stuff there. You know, it, it's great to see when we get these pieces of info that kind of prove to us that the company is growing at such a fast rate. I mean, to have, you know, the 100 production contracts, then almost now to almost 200 production contracts just over a month. And then also uh, uh, the XRP, you know, institution over the counter sales being up 400% quarter to quarter. I mean, the company just keeps growing and I'm stoked to see the, um, stoked to see more of the results in Q4 because it just seems like Ripple, the company, they're doing such a great job at, at, at accelerating their own adoption. And, and, they're, and they're getting so many key players from all kinds of companies and people with all types of connections in the financial industry. They're really just, honestly, the, the, what gives me the most confidence about Ripple is how great of a team they have established. I mean, honestly, try to find me a better blockchain team than Ripple. I mean, they have people from Swift, from Visa, from MasterCard, you know, uh, I think from actually from Amazon. I mean, they've got people who have years and years of experience in the financial world and just tons and and tons of, of, of relationships that are just helping, you know, accelerate the company. So honestly, it's just so nice to see these key, these key employees at Ripple you know, kind of give us these breadcrumbs to kind of let the community know that, hey, you know, we are growing. I mean, even though the price is kind of, you know, staying kind of flat and the news isn't as great from us, we are growing as a company. And they usually, you know, they can't really all the time come out and say how much they're growing due to, you know, certain contracts and agreements. But it's it's nice to see that we're getting the confirmation that the company is truly growing. And then um, last piece of info I just want to kind of go over. Uh, this has like nothing to do with the topic of today's video, but just want to make you guys aware of it. Uh, like exchange. I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, based in Swiss. They have listed XRP today to Bitcoin. Uh, they get about 6,500 followers on Twitter. Not like a huge exchange, but not a really small one either. You know, kind of medium, small to medium size exchange. Uh, and they have listed XRP. And someone in the um, someone in the reply section actually asked, hey, will, will Swiss franc pairing be available? And said, this may be an option for the future, but at the moment, there's no such plan. So in the future, could maybe get, uh, you know, them as an extra app a quarter. Uh, but really right now, Ripple is focused on those emerging markets and connecting them to the global economy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, I mean, always great to get news that the company is, tr is growing quite fast for a startup. Always great to see. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check the links in the description to support the channel. Get yourself Nano S. Keep that cryptocurrency safe. And turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video or a stream. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.